right, and uh, we're back. And this time, I have not taken cold medication immediately before recording this. Yeah, such so, should help. So, what did I miss? I don't know. One moment. Sorry if you got a little echo there. <laughs> I'm not used to being the one whose <laughs> computer we use for this. Yeah, yeah, he's recording uh, video and I'm doing audio this time. <laughs> so welcome to another episode of Jive Turkey Runs Around. Ah. Super Metroid again. What is that? Is that what this is? Yeah, this is Super Metroid. Uh, Super Metroid 64 to be precise. Yeah. yeah. This game was famous for its N64 part. Yeah, uh, it's got that weird draw distance thing that Turok had going on. Yeah. So you just assume that uh, Norfair is just really, really cloudy all the time. Uh. <laughs> Jesus, you're the worst. Oh, I do have the grapple beam. Oh, I must have just got that. Sweet. It's been a while, folks. It's been a while since we've recorded here, too. Yeah, actually. Yeah, we were talking in the car. This is kind of weird. This is the first session that we've done since we started streaming. Uh, and it, it, uh, it's weird suddenly not having the camera that I have to worry about. It's weird having this microphone suddenly right in my face because yeah. there's no camera. Um, wow, you just made the lava disappear. Yeah, it does that. Uh, it's, it's weird having to talk a little bit more because I don't have audience interaction. That's true. Like, you have to actually look at the TV. Yeah, well, you I, fucking millennial. No, now I can just look at you the whole time and have no idea what's going on over yeah, there. I can do that too. So, like, yeah, this is. It's strange, but I'm okay with it. Yeah. Yeah. I basically do the same thing either way. I talk into the microphone and yeah. I look at the TV. Well, you have to look at the TV because you're playing the game. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess no one's making you, but it helps. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's... Oh, yeah, you need a grapple beam for that. Oh, man, this isn't so bad now that I'm wide awake. Yeah, well, it's good. Awake or asleep. That's yeah. what it says in the box. <laughs> <laughs> Sleep through this game. It'll still be good. Great for narcoleptics. <laughs> That's what any turn-based strategy is good for. I'm a high jumper. Yes, you are. You're doing great. Sorry. Right. Your mother and I are very proud. I just didn't expect this to be uh, a grapple room. Whoa! We're good. There we go. After many, many, many years of playing Worms Armageddon, I've become a master of any sort of grapple beam or ninja rope. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man, the tricks I could pull off with that thing. Amazed my friends. Disappointed my family. Alright, so I'm gonna head back to Brinstar to get the wave beam. Yeah. Because I mostly remember where it is now. I just know it's in the green bubble area. I was actually watching a Metroid... A Super Metroid speedrunner do, uh... Play this. I'm like, oh, that's where the, uh... That's where that wave beam is. Ah, so you've been using guides. Not really, I've just been, like, watching Twitch. <laughs> Twitch is fun. You know, I only do pre-recorded Let's Plays. Yes, that is the only thing we do. Yes. Dropkickgaming.tv, <laughs> or twitch.tv slash dropkickgaming.tv. Hey, I wonder what it would cost us to get dropkickgaming.tv as a domain. Uh, I don't know. Let me, uh... Probably... Go daddy this. Oh yeah, I guess you could. At some point when we become hyper-famous, we're going to have to create our own website. Why? Because that's what all the hyper and we can host our own videos. That doesn't work well. Unless you have your own server, and even yeah. then... That'd be a hot mess. I didn't realize until recently that Cinemassacre uh, had their own server. Yeah. I don't know if they still use it or not, but... I thought that was kind of neat. So dropkickgaming.tv would cost us uh, $39.99 a month, or a year, a year, $39.99 a year. Yeah. It's not too bad. So, you know, by that point we'd be making money. <laughs> like we ever make money. Do uh, you remember this room? Yes. Now we can get through it much easier. Pretty sure I uh, ate life on this. Oh yeah. 
So for our viewers at home, uh, what's the story? Uh, you can... What? There's... It's a Metroid game. Space Hunters Bounty. <laughs> Stuff. Uh... So Sam has found a baby Metroid. And it broke out and yay. killed a bunch of people. And now no, it didn't to, break out and kill people. Uh, it got stolen. Oh. Uh, and now we're here to steal it back. Uh, yes. Pretty sure... Is it over here? There it is. Uh -huh. But where's Samus? Oh, there's Samus. Where's Samus? There's Samus! It's like a weird Where's Waldo, except it's really obvious because it's Samus. It's like Dora the Explorer. Oh god. So we got the X-ray scope now, that's like... It's fun for casuals, but speedrunners have zero need for it. It's a good thing you're not a speedrunner. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. 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 So, uh, tell me about some of the great Metroidvania games that you've played in your life. Uh, there's this great one called Metroid. Okay. Uh, there's this great one called Castlevania Afternoon Orchestra. Oh, yeah, Symphony of the Night, yeah. Yeah, okay. Ah. Um, I don't know. All the Castlevania games and all the Metroid games. All the Castlevania games. So yeah. Castlevania 64, you heard it, heard it here first, folks. Castlevania 64 is a great Metroidvania. God, don't ever play Castlevania 64. Well, don't tell them what to do. One day I'll make you play it, but... Uh, I was looking for it a while ago. Yeah? But then I stopped caring. <laughs> it's a valid reason to stop really anything, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going not where I want to be. Ah. This would be great if I had the wave beam, that's where I'd want to go. But I don't. Piano so we're gonna works. yeah, jam out to this rad little bit. <laughs> am I am I being dumb? Yes. Is that bubbly area actually in Norfair? I don't know. Dun, 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 dun. It is. God damn it. <sighs> Sorry. Sumi Masen! Look, I made nine thumbnails for this plus a finale, so you have an hour and 20 minutes to beat this game. Without uh, me having to do extra work and holding that against you. Hour and 20 minutes? Yeah. Well, if this game thought we did. Uh, an hour and eleven minutes. Yeah, this this game's belief Tip on how long we took and how long we actually took were very different. Typically, when I beat this game, it's about three hours on the game clock. Okay. So that's like nine hours hour time. <laughs> Is the game clock using, like, fucked up cycles or something? Like... Probably. This is the true Metroid, Super Metroid experience. What's wandering around, going back? Yeah. Being slightly lost? Yeah, well, more like forgetting shit. Just admit that we're lost, that we should put over and ask somebody for directions. Whoop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. So how's uh, how's Final Fantasy V going? Ah, oh, it's pretty good. Yeah. We're like... Just over halfway, I think. Okay. Alright. But, like, you can't put a price on that kind of enjoyment. <laughs> oh! That was pretty sick. Oh! Oh! <laughs> uh. Oh, I almost damage boosted onto the platform. Yeah, here's where I'm looking for the bubblies. Uh. So, somewhere in here, there's a way I didn't go, and I think Unless it's probably that big empty room down, yeah. down below you. Onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia. To which I get unreasonably angry when I listen to them. 
Like, it's, it's chiptune music, which is great, but it's so upbeat, like, so disgustingly happy, it's like a child. Or it's like, you haven't experienced true misery yet, shut up. So I get angry at how happy that music is. There's a way to glitch it! It's like they don't know how to use a flat note, and it drives me nuts. Uh, you're assuming that they're playing in C. Of course I am. Which they don't. They play in Upset. Upsetting Chris. The key of upsetting me. Yeah, which means good. <laughs> Whoa. Let's get my health back. And my super missiles! Way to, way to Hitler those guys. Good job. There we go. He's going straight for the genocide, huh? Yeah. Well, they're inferior. Oh. Wait, what if we went to the left and Actually, down? I don't know where we have to go. I gotta go... over there. Uh. <laughs> there we go. So I organized my VHS collection today. Yeah, how is that looking? I had it in two, like, fairly large stacks. Because I'm going to move my VCR upstairs so I can watch movies while I'm playing games and stuff, rather than keeping it on the downstairs TV. Rather than not watching movies? Yeah, basically. Uh, it's looking pretty good. It's taking up a whole bookshelf now, which is kind of nice. Um... I realized I got a couple dupes, so Stefan, do you want a copy of Independence Day on VHS? Uh... Jurassic Park on VHS? I got it. Or Star Trek IV, uh, The Voyage Home? Uh, I'm alright. Alright. Uh, it's a good movie and all that. It's a but great movie. Uh, it's part of that set that's got the five. Yeah. Thing, which sucks, because they never put out a set that has six in it, so you always They just, did, actually. Did they really? Well, yeah. I'll take that back. Right now, I just have the set of five, and then six just sitting on its own. So, apparently, at no point, I decided to go over here. Mm. Uh, but I rarely ever watch my VHS copies of them, because I've got them all on Laserdisc. So, I mean... Yeah. A far superior format. And here's the wave beam. Um, but I found a VHS copy of 12 Angry Men, which is kind of cool. Nice. The original? Yeah. yeah. Nice. So I might just watch that tonight, folks. That's a wicked movie. That's a great movie, yeah. So the way I did it before was I just, like, I got over here, and then I just did this. That's how... That was my big sequence spray. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Sorry. Do you know you can grab onto these? Oh. Right. Never well, mind. Carry on. But you can grab onto those guys <laughs> with the grapple. It's pretty fun. Huh. All right. So now we're going to go to the ancient or the crash spaceship. No, you know what I'm going to watch tonight? I got a copy of uh, George Romero's Night Riders. Okay. Uh, I'm going to watch that because, you know, we don't have George Romero around anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So what the wave beam does for those at home is it allows me to shoot through walls. Oh. That seems helpful. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I think so. Will it let you shoot through those doors, though? Yes, uh -huh. the, but only <laughs> only helps out with the blue ones. Oh. So if I wanted to, I could go down. Do you want me to go down there and check that? Yeah, yeah, let's go see what that is. I'm curious. So I'll do that before I do uh, yeah. the gravity beam. This is going great, this room. Yeah. This is like those fish on the bridge in Super Mario 3. Fish in the bridge. Remember those fish that we had so much trouble with? It's been a while. It really has. That was last summer. It's been like a year. That was the summer of Nintendo. Yeah. I Nintendo don't remember. Yeah, I see what you did there. Boop. Boop. Oh, I should borrow that copy of Console Wars from you today if you're still cool with that. Yeah, for sure. Sweet. I would like to read that. It's a good book. 
Oh, did I go in not the right way? No, I think you went the right way. No, I wanted to go left, but I uh, think this will also take me yeah, there. Yeah, this will do the trick. Yeah, this is the way you got there earlier. Wait, if you collect that screaming sphere thing, it will give you 200 life and 200 armor. Uh, it won't. Oh. It just looks like the overdrive sphere from Doom. Oh, well, that's kind of nifty. This room looks really shitty to be in. Could be worse. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Suffer. Well, that was pointless. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you like John Romero. Uh, or George Romero. And uh, tell us in the comments what your favorite George Romero video or movie was. Uh, just to complete this, I'll go up here. Stefan, what's your favorite George Romero movie? I've only seen his dead movies. Oh, okay. So, like so Dawn, Dawn of the Dead, of the probably. Dead, Night of the Living Dead. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. Night you? of the Living Dead's public domain, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, somebody recently, I don't know, I'll read it down, I don't actually know if it was recently, I saw it recently, did a, put a colorized version up on, uh, YouTube. Oh, yeah. And it looks, like, they did a, they did a really good job colorizing it. Um, so that's, so that looks really awesome. Like, I like black and white movies, I find, like, I notice it's black and white for the first, you know, ten minutes, and then I just forget the fact it's black and white. Yeah. But seeing the, the colorization was really cool. Uh, you've seen Fury Road, right? Uh, no. No? Okay. Uh, well, so there's a, uh, black and chrome version that's going around the theaters right now. Yeah. And that's really cool. Um, that movie looks awesome in black and chrome. I still can't believe you haven't seen Fury Road. It seems weird to me. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's right, because you're waiting to see it with Kathleen, right? Yeah, also, like... I'm not even sure I've seen all the Mad Maxes. You don't need to... Like, you could watch... If you've never seen a Mad Max movie, you could watch this, and your life would be no different. Yeah. In fact, your life would probably be better, because it wouldn't have then gone and ruined the Road Warrior for you. Because I feel like Fury Road was the movie that, like was always supposed to be what the Mad Max movies were, but the budget and the technology just didn't exist at the time. So, so now, because I, I went back and I rewatched The Road Warrior shortly after seeing Fury Road. Yeah. Uh, and I was just like, this is not... I can see what he's trying to do. He wants to make Fury Road with this movie and it's not working. It's even about a truck. Like... So... Yeah. At least Beyond the Thunderdome is an immutable masterpiece. Yeah, I don't know. What's, they just... I didn't really feel strongly either way towards any of the Mad, Mad Max movies that I saw. Yeah, well, the, the first one is real tough to watch. Uh, because it's... Especially now, because it's... Uh, unless you're really into that kind of thing, because it's got that kind of like... 1970s well, pacing. It was basically just Death Wish. Yeah, but without... It's a really oddly slowly paced movie for, for again, what the other two, for what uh, Beyond the Thunderdome and The Road Warrior became. It was... It's so slow. Well, it's like First Blood. Yeah. Where you're just like, hang on, all these other movies had these amazing action sequences. This one has a lot of dialogue and just sitting around. Yeah, kind of like us. Yeah. So... It's, it's... Mad Max 1's a bit of a, an odd... an odd duck in the Mad Max series, which is weird that it's the first one, but... Yeah. I'm not complaining. Well, look at Terminator compared to Terminator oh, 2. Oh, man, yeah. Are you a... are you a 1 or a 2 guy? I like them both. Yeah. I didn't think you had to be one or the other. Well, no, but pe people sort of tend to prefer, like, oh, I liked the slower one, or I liked the more action-y nature of the second one. Uh, I love the second... Like, I like the first one. I love the second one because it's a, a much bigger scope. Everything about that movie is like Starship Troopers 1. It's like a huge scope of a film. And they do... They cram so much into it. Uh, oh, it's their favorite room. Oh, God. 
Except now I can cheat. <laughs> As opposed to trying to cheat, you just can cheat. 